Go to calculus with Mark Chandler. We can do that before the jobs report tomorrow. Uh, Euro sterling, this is what Francine looks at constantly, much less so in America with Brexit right here, weaker sterling up we go near the so-called parity uh, mark. Mark, it takes two to tango and it's partial differentials. Which dynamic matters? Is it sterling or is it Euro dynamics? I think it changes. I think that earlier... It shifts. It, it shifts around, but right now I think it's primarily a weak sterling. The Euro is really flat this week, you know? We, we, the Euro broke down last week and traded right. mostly sideways now. But this is critical. Everybody got wrong. The dollar call, with great respect to UBS, great call. The dollar call of weaker dollar through the summer. Is the surprise for next year Euro dynamics? I don't know. I mean, it's possible. Does Draghi get in here and, you know, make a, a big shift? Well, I, th I think that what we have in a couple of weeks, that's for me the, the highlights of October, is going to be the Japanese election and the ECB meeting. And I think Draghi's going to announce a tapering. I suspect it's going to be a greater tapering, but that allows greater tapering, meaning reducing the amount that they're buying, but they will extend it longer. And I think that's the key, and that's what the key was from earlier this week, the right. chief economist from the ECB, talking about the duration, the trade-off between duration okay. and size of the program. So let's go from the tripod of euro sterling over to the dollar pair. What is your call on sterling dollar cable, and what is your call on euro dollar out a year or so? Yeah, you know, I don't even know what I'm having for dinner tonight, let alone where the euro is going to be in a year. But I would say that I do think the dollar, I mean, I was wrong about the dollar earlier this year. I thought that we'd have a better, a better run of the dollar. But I think that what we've seen so far is just a correction to that big rally the dollar's had since 2014. The euro has just barely gotten close to the 50% retracement of that. So I think the dollar's longer term uptrend will continue. Interesting. Beginning in the fourth quarter, driven by interest rate differentials, divergence of central bank policy, balance sheets, and this new change in the politics where European politics was a tailwind for the euro, now is a headwind. Interesting.